it's obviously not the outcome you wanted, but it, it was your first game um, coming back to Tennessee as the head coach. Uh, what did that mean to you? You know, anytime um, I come home, you know, coming to Tennessee, it's a, a place that I love. It reminds me of Coach Summit, and it's always uh, family, so it's always an honor to be back on the summit. Ronald Wallace. Coach, uh, I know uh, it felt like uh, the spirit of Pat Sun was in that gym uh, tonight. Uh, but uh, how, where do you guys go from here uh, before the next game? You know, we got knocked down tonight. Uh, hats off to Tennessee. You know, they played well. Um, they were aggressive uh, offensively and defensively. Uh, we did not match their intensity um, nor their energy. So uh, credit to them. But where we go from here, we got knocked down. And there, it's a long season. You get back up. We go back home, uh, watch the film. I'll reevaluate myself along with the staff. And um, we'll watch as a team and fix our mistakes. Maria? Coach, it is highly unusual for Ryan Howard to be held in check for, for a full half. Is, is that ankle still boggling her, or did, did she just get out of her game today? You know, uh, Ryan's ankle is fine. Um, you know, she just didn't shoot the ball well tonight, and that happens um, sometimes. Um, but, you know, what we talked about in the locker room, uh, we lived and died by the three. So when your shot's not going, the outside shot's not going, we can't panic offensively. We got to continue to execute our, our sets um, and then go get something else. You know, we really talked about attacking on the ball screen, uh, shoot a pull-up jumper. Uh, we just put so much pressure on our half-court offense um, because we didn't generate any points off of our defense. We, we weren't scoring in transition. You need to get to the free throw line, offensive rebounds. But, um, you know, it was not our night tonight. Um, credit to Tennessee. But, you know, there's a lot of things that we will learn and fix from here. Quick, quick follow-up. Was Tennessee's size a, a big factor, no, no pun intended, or was part of it just you guys were not executing how you needed to well i'm going to give uh credit to tennessee um tonight you know they played uh very well they like i said they were extremely aggressive um you know we got out rebounded uh by 31 which i told the team that was just unacceptable we got to be better um in that area and yes they do have size but we have played them before with size so um that is not an excuse uh, we got to be willing to box out consistently for 40 minutes and that's just a matter of going back to work uh, making sure i demand that along with this staff um, so we can move forward from here john Wong, go ahead Kyra, we've talked all year about mental toughness, and it seemed like that when your team missed a lot of those shots early on, it kind of zapped a lot of their energy. I mean, I, I think you all came out pretty pretty energized in the first quarter, but uh, how, how can you prevent that, and what can you as a coach maybe do a little bit better to, to kind of keep that from happening? Well, that's where you hang your hat on your defense. Um, you know, you don't know if your shot's going to go in. You know, you hope that you shoot the ball well, but there will be some games that you don't shoot the ball well. So I thought if our, our defense could have hung in there a little bit longer, we maybe could have generated some points um, by turning them over and scoring easy um, buckets because tonight was not our night in the half court. Um, so, you know, just putting our back, continuing to put our backs against the wall um, and practice, um, that's how you continue to create mental toughness, um, battling a, um, adversity. Um, and sometimes that is going to happen, but you got to remain uh, resilient. And unfortunately, tonight we weren't. But like I said, we will learn from this um, game and we'll be a better team because of it. I'm trying to look for some positives. It looks like you all generated 17 turnovers. It seemed like Chastity had kind of a decent game. Uh, what other positives can you take out of a, an outing like this? It was not the outing uh, that we wanted to have. It was a disappointing uh, showing. Um, I mean, there's no other thing to describe it besides that. We got knocked down. Um, and the positive is um, we have another game. 
um, the next game on our schedule becomes the most important. We learn and we grow um, and you got to remain resilient. And one thing we talk about, um, you can never get too high. You can never get too low. Stay steady. We put our heads down and we go back to work. Hey, thank you. We're going to do two more. Barkley. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that I still have my uh, hand up. Okay, no problem. Maria, go ahead. Coach, first of all, just with We Backpack coming to a we, uh, close, I want to just thank you for all you have done at Tennessee and at Kentucky to keep backing Pat. I asked Kelly about this, too. Kelly's the head coach at Tennessee. You're at Kentucky. Naya Butts on the bench. It's not just Pat players coaching. All three of you played on the same team for Pat. Just how special is that? You know, it's a, it's it's extremely special. You know, um, I love, we call her KJ, um, but uh, Kelly has done a great job at Tennessee. Um, you know, we all have the sisterhood um, and love for each other. And when we're not playing for each other, uh, we do root for each other. But I know that Coach Summit is smiling down to have uh, four um, head coaches in the SEC um, representative, representative, represented from Tennessee, um, and then um, all the assistant coaches that are in the business. So uh, we're everywhere. So the sisterhood and the legacy of Coach uh, Summit continues. Okay, Coach, we'll let you get on the road. Thank you for your time and safe travels. Thank you.